Can you dress your children? Guess what? God dressed them. That's right. This, he said, my children are going to be the rulers of this earth. Yeah. Well, guess what? God gave his women a way to dress. His daughters a way to dress. Have you been married? I'm married right now, 14 years strong. Did you have a, a wedding? I sure did. Did you put on pants? No, I had on a dress. That's more than good. Wait, right, right, right. I had to, it was yeah. occasion. Yeah. Special Guess occasion. what? Like God it. said you wrong to That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. I know how it is. I know how it is when you first hear the word of God and you hear men of God actually tell you what the Bible says. Well, right. What happens is a lot of times what we've learned and how we grew up is how we was taught by our pastors. Teach. We took them as being men of God. Right. We just didn't realize they was telling you who they were the whole time. But what if right. you're dealing with a woman that tried to deal with a pastor of God and he did some wrong thing to make me turn against what all of you were speaking about? Let's see, that's my point, sis. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to tell you is that we all look at the pastors as men of God. Right. Okay. And we didn't realize that these men, they was telling you from the very beginning that they wasn't men of God because they used to say, they say right. things like, hey, you know, I came from the streets. I used to be a drug dealer. Right. I used to be this. I used to be that. Right. They just learned a new hustle. Bring it out. Right. You understand? Bring it out. The new hustle was to get 10% of your money right. and make you think that you was actually following God. Right. And, the, and, and, and guess what? And they held up this image right here Bring and it told you that that was Christ. Right. right. And you know what? And you'll tell black people, you talk black people all the time, you say, I know Christ is black. Yeah. They'll say that all the time. Okay. Why ain't nobody mad if the church is portraying as being white? Bring it out. Why, why is not the pastors? Coming together. And I to cut you off, I have a problem with that. I agree with you too. That's why I don't attend church. Right, right. You so so saying? you see a problem with the church, right? Yes, I do. So if you see a problem with the church, you gotta understand something. That means it's like going to school and right. you had a problem with the teachers. That's right. And you stopped going. When that problem did your education, that did your education increase? Nephew, when you stopped going to school? No. It means you didn't get educated You understand? Right. right. So 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 you didn't get educated on this bike. I did. And, and so, I couldn't even tell your scripture from so, the Bible. So, 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 you'd be like, probably. Uh, I'm being uh, honest. Because I'll tell you what happened. We start leaning on our own understanding. Right. You know, and God tells us not to do that. Right. We got to actually trust in the word of God. Right. And that word of God is going to be that medicine that, you know, that's going to actually heal us from the condition we're in. Jeez. And the truth of the matter is, medicine ain't ever really tasted good. You understand? So when you hear this medicine, you know what? You're like, you don't want to taste it. It's, hard, it's going down hard. It's hard for you to accept. It. You understand? You've got to realize, just like you as a mother, you, hey, you give your children what? Information to help them so they don't get caught up in the streets. You don't want no man out here running running game on your child, taking advantage of your child, your daughter, you know what I'm saying? You don't want your son out here gang banging and everything. So you try to give them wisdom. And well, guess what? If you able to give your child wisdom, what do you think God is able to do for his children? His wisdom should have seen all our wisdom, right? So guess what? When we hear the word of God, we should accept that because he's doing for our own good. Because by us rejecting God's word, this is what happens. We got put in slavery. That slavery is real. You know, if, we, if you want to know if the Bible is real, all you got to do is look at your conditions because God don't lie. Right. You understand? God told you what was going to happen thousands of years before it ever happened. So the prophecies in this Bible is now our history. 
and we can't deny our history. So if we sit there and say, man, because God did this to us, what is he going to do if we don't change? Because look, because he sent his son down here to die for us. We got to understand his son gave his life so we can have an opportunity to come back to God. He made a sacrifice. Shouldn't you reverence that man's sacrifice? We, we, uh, you know what we do? We look at it and say, you know what? That's the white man's book. That's how we do it. We say, that's the white man's book. As soon as we show you, uh, this is what God did to you. This was written by our forefathers. This Bible is for us and only us. Right. Who got more spirit than the black man? We, we, we'll go to church and been out singing the whole night. And then we'll be in church singing songs. That, uh, we got the spirit on us. But we really don't know God's word. What? You understand? We really don't know what was good for us. And we got to come back to that. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. But we got to understand something. If the Bible is going to be a real book, we got to put ourselves in this book. That's why he asked you to say, look at yourself right here. You come from this, from the uh, tribe of Judah. They call yourself a black American. You're from the tribe of Judah. You, you hear this? Listen, you, have, you know your Israelite? And I'm sorry. This whole, I'm all God's children are called totally Israelite. The truth and I'm That's the bloodline that God chose. Because I'm learning truth. something right. that they just children believe. Rebelled against there's a lot I don't believe in to so what you caught my attention. So, so I will be back because I got to Hey, before you go, I want you to get this law because you didn't believe what you thought that you made that up about the pants. So you understand something. God children, wouldn't did you dress your children? Yes. Guess what? God dressed his. That's right. This, he said, my children are gonna be the rulers of this earth. Yeah. You understand? So guess what? He expects his children to carry themselves a certain way. Right. Because you're supposed to be royalty on this earth. That's you right. understand? You don't want our men wearing skinny pants. You know, think about this right here. Men wear pants like that now. Right. Yes. How, how can you look at him and think he's man? I can't. I can't. Well, guess what? God gave his women a way to dress. His daughters a way to dress. Teach. Can you imagine if you see your daughter run down the street naked. What you gonna do? You know? Bust her head. You gonna bust her head wide open? But well, don't you think God said he gave his children a way to dress and he see you you know? against that? You hey, oh. be ready to bust your head wide open. What right. are you This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Hey. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. So God said a woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man. You know what I'm saying? So guess because you know what happens? The minute women start wearing manly clothes, they take on the spirit of a man. Well, we black women do that. Some, some women do, but I don't agree with that as far as with the woman that's wearing manly clothes that they're going to act manly. Maybe the studs, the ones that do Watch that, this. which Watch I'm this. against. But How do you act? When you, uh, have you been married? I'm married right now, 14 years strong. Did you have a, a wedding? I sure did. Did you put on pants? No, I had on a dress. That's nothing good. Wait, right. right, right, right. I had to. It's yeah. occasion. Yeah. Special Guess what? Like God said you royalty. That's right. For every day. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. I respect that. Okay. The yeah. woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on women's clothes. Now guess what? The man they put on a woman's clothes, they ain't feeling manly. Now they out here popping their fingers, snapping them. No, in, in, that's in, right. These are women jogging pants. These are not men pants. There's no, pants. Listen, there's no pants. such thing as women pants, sis. Wait. Right. Jogging pants. Oh, no, like, no, no, no. Remember, say dresses, you got that. Royalty. No, you got that. Kips out, sis. How old are you? I'm 43. Guess what? And women on earth were not wearing pants until the, what, early uh, 60s? 60s. Yes. yes. Before that, all women wore dresses. That's right. right. All women right. wore dresses. Right. So, so guess what? That's a new thing on earth when they're wearing pants. Following after the white one. Exactly. That's what they did. They followed the oppressor. Now whatever the oppressor do, we do. Your boom. Guess what? The white man gave you white Jesus. You start worshiping white Jesus. Right. right. The white man gave you uh, uh, 4th of July. The day of his independence. Now you're out there uh, doing fire. We're shooting fire. Right. 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 Shooting fire right. and barbecuing. Right. Knowing you, we still slaves right now today. Right. That's and we right. celebrate the white man's independence. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know Halloween is wicked. You dress, you dress your kids up like goblins and devils. Right. You know what I'm saying? The women are dressed up like hoes. Right. right. And guess what? You know that's wicked. Right. So whatever the white man gave you, guess what? It was always wrong. That's, that's why right. I said that all oh, yeah. the oppressor and choose none of their way. Right. Because that's what he's there for, to oppress you. By you following them, they stay ruling over you. Right. You come back to God, guess what happens? You come out to a captivity. That's you right. go back and rule the ship of the earth. That's right. Do you think the white man wants you to change? Not at all. Exactly. So he's going to tell you, these is women pants. Right. See? You got you put them on the side. Right. So the white man keep us, white man keep us ignorant. Right. Yeah. 
You understand? And he made this look. What you sit there and say, that's the white man's book. You know what? White people don't say, don't say a word. Right. They, they want us to be ignorant. Right. You understand? And now guess what? You see, you know about Kanye West? Harry Irving? You know? They said we was Israelites. Right. He posted up a link to say we were the, uh, we the Hebrews. Jeez. The Jews. And what did they do? Took a billion of his money. Right. Ready to put the man out the league for what? Right, right. Telling the truth. So they, right. they don't want this truth out. That's right. You understand? Because that truth gives you power. That's you understand? Right. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge right. is power. We're going to tear down this white man's kingdom with this Bible. That's right. You understand? That's what they're scared of. That's right. It's the same way Moses delivered his people out of Egypt with the word of God. We're going to deliver our people out of captivity with the word of God. That's right. We're right. going back into rulership. And they don't want you to have the word of God. They don't want you to stay in the ignorance. They want you to rebel against God. Read the to the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Mm -hmm. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Abomination is something God hates. Right. Now you know what's first that comes to our people's minds, especially our women. You know what our women say? They say, God ain't going to judge me for what I wear. Teach. He know my heart. Teach. Just give me that. Uh, that I'm going to show you what God Christ is going to do when he comes back. Because okay. remember, right, right, right now, hold on, believe. I'm sorry. I I just do last verse. Last verse. Last verse. I'm listening. Because I want you to hear this, because you know why? Trust me. This I'm is about me. judgment. Remember, I know. We, watch this. I'm about judgment. From places. I, I, I know you think, because you don't hear it, you think God ain't going to judge Trust me. I follow you. I, I just learned something. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Show and it shall come to pass that the. Show that show the, show that show the, show that the in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, sis, I want you to listen before you go. That I will punish. That may put to death. The princes and the king's children. That's you, sis. You're a prince. You're supposed to be wearing a dress. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. All those clothed with strange apparel. I went to walk around wearing pants, spandex. That's strange apparel to God. Right. He never gave that for his children. Right. right. He gave his children dresses to wear. He gave his men uh, manly clothes to wear. Right. right. But we turned our back on God. And as we turned our back on God, we turned our back on our salvation. Right. As we turned our back on our salvation, what we did is turn our, our back on what's going to give us roots on this earth. That's right. There's no way in the world that a black man should be selling for being uh, a slave. Right. You gotta really face the fact that we're slaves. Right. right. And if you uh, you can understand the fact that you're a slave, you can understand this one simple thing. You should want freedom and you should be able to die for it. That's right. right. You should be saying, I don't want my child to be a slave. Right. The black man don't care about his children. Right. He don't care about his women. Right. And he don't care about himself. Teach. We will sit there and go right back to doing wickedness. Right. We'll go right back to getting high, getting blazed. Get turned up. Right. Because the truth of the matter is that we don't want to face reality. Jeez. That's right. All those is just things that we do not to face the truth of our condition. Right. Right. We don't want to face the fact that, hey, we're slaves in this society and there's hell. And we look at the sand and there's no way we can defeat the white man. Right. There's no way that we can change our condition. But there's a way. There's a way. Give me that now, First Kings. There's a way to come out of this condition. Now all we got to do is do what the Bible says. All we got to do is be humble. All we gotta do is be obedient. That's right. But we'll be obedient to the white man. We'll go to the job. We'll obey all his rules. We'll follow everything that the white man gave us. Hey, and you know what? We won't even have a problem doing it. Right. We won't even have a problem doing it. Right. We'll have a smile on our face. We'll suck and jive for it. But when it comes to the word of God, we actually got a problem. We got a problem with being humble. We got a problem even though we say we love God. Nobody said we love God more than us. Right. The white man don't say he love God. Dude, white man don't give a damn about God. What? White man look at you and with a smile on his face and say, I'm an atheist. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
Look, look. It's simple as that. And you don't be wanting to follow anything that he do. No. But he want to be you. He want to be you. He no judgment coming. He can ask you to do something that you don't do. He can read with comprehension. Right. That's, no. what, that's what I get a white man. All right, spread it for He reads with comprehension. Teach. We read the Bible for a good saying. Right. We'll go to the book of Psalms and try to find something good right there. And so we can say, you know what? I'm going to apply this to my life. Bring it out. I just want to be on emotion. I'm an emotional man. I'm Bring just, it out. I just want to feel good. Right. Tell me something to feel good. Right. That's our people. Don't tell me the truth, but tell me something to make me feel good. Tell me I'm going to get some money. Tell me I'm going to get prosperity. But don't ask me to change my life. Teach. That's what black people want. They don't want nobody to tell them. Hey, do you agree with that black man? Hey, we don't want nobody telling us nothing new. Right. And when we and we'll run from when we hear the truth. Bring it out. Hey, I gotta go. You no, let me do this first. Hey, I gotta go to work. You ain't never wanted to get your ass to work. Oh! Black people be right out here, right here on a Saturday. No oh, good boy, they ain't got no job. Teach! No, but they gotta go to work. Right. Nigga, you had to go to work, you wouldn't be out here fooling around. Right. Go so hard time. But that black people, they run. Right. They run from this truth. They run from this knowledge. Right. Do you want power on this earth, brother? Hey, I'm going to show you the secret of how you get power. Read. Bring it out. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. Bring it out. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. We all going to sin against God. We ain't sitting up here acting like we perfect. We just up here knowing that we don't repent it. That's right. right. And we understand repentance. Repentance means to turn away from your sin. You understand? We turned away from our sin. We stopped being whoremongers. We stopped being gangbangers. We right. stopped selling dope. Right. You know what? We said, you know what? I'm going to put I'm gonna put my people first. I'm going to put my children first. I'm going to put God first. Right. I ain't going to be no damn hypocrite to say I love God. And then when I hear something that God tell me to do, I ain't going to sit there and be like, I ain't going to do it. Right. That's, that's the damn pastor. Right. You know? That's your pastors, that's your women in church to sit down walking around with them big old hats on. That's your damn deacons, all of them. That's some damn liars. That's, that's right. a hypocrite. They don't care about the people. You'll never see them out here on the street. Right. Right. You'll never see them out here on the street because you know why? But when you're out here on these streets, people come up and ask questions. That's right. right. They run from this Bible. That's they, right. they don't want to follow this Bible. Right. They don't want to tell you that they don't really know the Bible. Right. Right. They want to shut and jazz, sing and dance, give you a song. Bring it out. But God said, if any man sin against them, because there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. Do you believe that we've been delivered to our enemies? God said, he did, God did this. He delivered us to the enemies for what? Because we was disobedient. Right. We was his children that said we loved him, and we were going to do what he said. And you know what we did? We said, the hell with that. Look what the white man over there doing. Teach. I'm going to go keep the 4th of July. Teach. I'm going to go do Halloween. Right. I ain't going to keep the Sabbath day. Teach. I'm going to go to church on Sunday because I worship God every day. Right. You know, right. Every day the niggas get turned up. Right. They worship God every day when you ask them. Right. We just lie. That's all we do is lie. That's why God had this Bible written. So he said, look, they're going to lie. They're going to lie, and I'm going to call them out on them. Bring it out. Right. And I'm going to send the prophet to call them out on them lies. Jeez. I ain't going to send them up there to say smooth words to you. Right. I'm going to send them right. up there to tell you the truth. Our people don't like the truth. Right. Period. Read. So that they carried them away captive unto the land of the enemy. So we was carried away captive. Out on slave ships, in shackles, to the land of our enemy. Or are near. We were scattered all throughout this earth in slavery, on slave ships. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. You know what it means to bethink yourself? To remember. Remember the movie Lion King? Simba forgot he was a damn lion. Bring it out. He said, hey, Simba. He had to tell him to remember yourself. You know what I'm saying? You had to bethink yourself. Remember, you ain't just no African American. Right. You're an Israelite. That's right. You were the child of Judah. That's you right. You were worthy to be praised. Right. You were the kings of this earth. Right. You ain't meant to be no damn slave. Bring it out. this earth, you were meant to be the ruler of this earth. That's right. He gave you that melody for a reason. Right. He gave you that knowledge, that wisdom, that power for a reason. Right. That's why they don't go in this Bible. Right. Because they can't teach you this Bible. It ain't meant for them. It's meant for you. This is where your power is at. That's right. If you want rulership on this earth, all you got to do is come back to your power, 
remember who you are. Read. In the land, whether they will carry captive and repent. And do what? And repent. God said just turn away from your sin and repent. That's right. That's all you got to do. Hey, any father that loved their child, you might have to put that child out your house because he was disobedient. Bring it out. But you didn't stop loving him. Right. He can only come back when he do what? Decide he want to do right. God said, look, get the hell out of my land. You're going into captivity. There you're going to serve the enemies. And when you get tired of serving them, when you get tired of serving them, when you get tired of being called a nigga, when you get, get tired of being called black, African American, when you're tired of being working seven days a week, right. when you're tired I'll of being tired, teach. bethink yourself. That's right. And repent. Turn back to me. Teach. Turn back to me. Turn away from your iniquity. Right. Turn away from your wickedness. Teach. And then I'm going to come back to you. And then I'm abiding you. Right. That's right. And then I'm going to protect you. That's right. And then I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to raise you up in front of your enemies. Right. And you're going to watch your enemies bow down before you. Right. You're going to see a new thing in this earth. Bring it so out. What you're seeing right now is the black man and black woman are returning back to God and they are keeping God's law. That's what you're seeing now is the black man is standing up and telling our people who they are. That's right. Calling himself a child of God. That's hey, right. we ain't better bow down and kiss the white man's ass no more. That's we ain't right. doing that. Right. We coming back to claim what's ours. That's Look. right. And we ain't sitting there asking, we're going to take it. That's, That's right. simple as that. We're going to take it. We And make supplications unto thee. And the so we got to make a heartfelt plea to God. You know what I'm saying? We can't just be no, we ain't, we just, no more lip service. We got to mean what we say. Read. In the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned. We got to admit that we've sinned. We got to admit that the things that we've done was against God. We just got to confess our sins to God. Right. Period. And he does just like I said, you'll take the son back when you turn away from being with you. Right. When you come back and say, You know what, Pops? I'm, I, I, Dad, I was wrong. Right. We, we got to come back to the Father and say, Father, we sinned against you. We've done, we done what? Saying we have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. We've committed wickedness. That's all we got to do. We got to turn away from those sins. We got to start learning God's ways. We got to start learning God's ways. We got to start learning how to walk as the children of God. You understand? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.